One man who lives near the third explosion is hoping video from his surveillance cameras will help the FBI catch who is responsible. KVU's Brandon Jones joins us live from Galindo Street. And Brandon, were investigators mm -hmm. able to find anything? Well, Quito, we spoke to Richard Rodriguez, who turned over that video to the FBI. Now, he says because of the distance from his home to Galindo Street, it may be hard to find anything. So what you're seeing right now, this is Galindo Street. It is still blocked off at this hour. However, several of the neighbors have been allowed in. Rodriguez has cameras all around his house. The cameras are hooked up to a monitoring system in the house that records every hour. Now, he tells us he installed the system to watch his grandfather, who has dementia. He says on Monday morning, several FBI FBI agents knocked on his door and wanted to see video footage from his cameras. He hopes his efforts will lead to justice for his neighbor. I never really worried about things like that. And now that it happened, you know, just down the street, you know, it does. I mean, feels just like you got to be on edge. You know? um, so this now, Richard says the FBI didn't tell him what exactly they were looking for, just that they needed a copy of that video. He says they also focused in on a short time frame leading up to that explosion. Now, he tells us that he cannot find the video. The FBI actually took a copy of it and the entire file. And since Monday, he has not seen or heard from any FBI agents. We are live here in Southeast Austin this evening. Brandon Jones, KVU News. Brandon, thanks.